Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakratash. I'm from the prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyat Napash. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and the apostles on down at Great Millstone. Those sincere, those sincere brothers on down who preach well, who rule well, and are great examples to us brothers out here. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Blessings. We're living in perilous times. And Lord willing, it'll be edifying to you brothers and you few sisters out here. And um, yeah, we, we are living in some very perilous times. You know, um, we, we're starting to have a lot of civil unrest. And uh, Babylon the Great, you know, with things going on with with the with um, with what's going on down here in Texas with the border crisis. You know, um, Governor Abbott believes in, believes one way, and you got um, President Biden. He believes in another way. And so, you know, we all know that scripture, you know, that a house is divided cannot stand, you know? So these are the times that we're living in, you know? And um, I want to go on and get into it. And uh, first of all, I'm going to start out in... Uh, Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Let's look up that word. Let's look up that word perilous. means full of danger, full of danger or risk, you know, and these are the times that we're living in, you know, so let's, let's continue on in uh, Second Timothy, peerless times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their, their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Yeah, we, we see a lot of that going on, you know. Um, a lot of the people, you know, you got some of these uh, actors or entertainers, you know, they had that spirit of, of loving themselves, you know. They're very covetous bolsters and that spirit is, is passed on a lot of times with with uh with this world in particular with jake and eve you know and that's uh, also being boastful proud blasphemers disobedient to parents mm -hmm. you know unthankful unholy mm -hmm. we see a lot of that going on you know uh, verse 3, without natural affection, truce breakers. We see a lot of that, you know, you see the United States or different countries breaking truces. They, they sign an agreement and what have you. And, you know, we know through history that a lot of these, these uh, truces have been broken, you know. 
uh, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, you know. You got the men of the Lord out here who, who you know, do the best they can by living by the laws of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah established. For his men, and at the end of the day, you see these other men out here or other people out here who despise that you have that kind of spirit on you to to want to do what's right you know so we see that all the time in in, in in your own personal journey you know traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god you know yeah you know got this um you know, this this getting ready to have this Super Bowl getting ready to come up, right? So that's what a lot of these people are talking about. You know, they want to do Super Bowl parties and stuff like that. You know, not realizing that right now we're on a verge, you know, that the United States is on a verge of war, you know? So they, they you know, instead of seeking, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and and learning those names as well as learning the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, they're seeking they're seekers of pleasure, you know. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Yeah, we see that in in, in case in point in a lot of these Christian pr preachers out here who who, you know, proclaim to live a certain lifestyle but they're going um behind the scenes going opposite of 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 that lifestyle that they're trying to proclaim in in public you know they got a, a private lifestyle that, that that goes contrary to what the what yahweh bashim yahweh shah says in his laws right so yeah th these are some of the things that that's going on you know and at the end of the day, um, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah is not dealing with them, you know? So, this is what 1 Corinthians 6 and 9 says. Now, ye know not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Yeah, so those with that mindset, those who that, um, that are spoken about in First in, uh, in Timothy, you know, in these perilous times that we, we're in, those will not inherit the kingdom as well as these right here, you know, who 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 are fornicators or idolaters or adulterers or effeminate. You know, we see a lot of that spirit going on right now, you know. Um, mm -hmm. No abusers of themselves, you know. You, know, you see a lot of this going on. You see a lot of that effeminate spirit with Jake, you know. Um at the end of the day, you know, Eve is a is you know uh, an aid to Esau in promoting that effeminate spirit. A lot of these single mothers, you know, they um, they raise these kids, and a lot of them, you know, if you ever notice, a lot of them uh, have these these long you know dreads in their hair, or they have these long braids, you know. Which the scriptures tell you that you know it's a, it is a shame for a man to have to to wear long hair, you know. You know, and a, and the glory of a woman is 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 her hair, you know. Glory, you know, is for a woman, not for a man to wear long hair. But he pushes that agenda. Uh, uh, Salafia, he pushes that agenda, you know. And 
this is the end result to a lot of these these um, kids. You know, they they're what um, elder the beloved brother elder Apostle Ricard say is GMO babies. You know, most of the time they run off their 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 fathers. You know, so all they know is a a, a very um, a very emotional spirit they have a very emotional spirit that's why a lot of them do the things that they do you know rob steal kill you know um back that up with the scripture here and it's in uh second ezra Second Ezra chapter five and verse eight. There shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And isn't that true? A lot of these these kids, you know, you know, they you know they're monsters, man. You know, so as the elder apostle Ricard calls them, uh, um, GMO babies, you know, and they have a very effeminate spirit on them, you know. So, um, at the end of the day, the Lord is not dealing with them, you know, and us brothers and a few sisters out here are, are waiting patiently for Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah to do what he do, even though right now he's doing what he's doing right now, but you know, we are we're, we're hoping to, to, to receive that salvation, you know. So Lord willing, I hope this was edifying to you brothers and a few sisters out here, you know. And once again, i like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakratash. And a um, special double uh, honors to the elder apostles at Great Millstone, those brothers who own down, who rule well, and, and who rule well, who teach well, and the great examples to his brothers out here. And until the next time, I say Shalom.